Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jada Simone and you're watching Jada's channel. I don't love just anyone. I am not just anyone. I rock heels, I rock Jordans. And I wear wigs and rock my natural. Can you believe it says I'm pretty but with dark skin? So besties, today's video is a very different video for my channel. I decided to do a tutorial on how I do my flexi rod sets. Y'all, this flexi rod set honestly came out so freaking bomb. My flexi rod sets are usually not this bomb. They're really, really good, but this is really, really good. Like, oh my goodness. I feel like my hair showed out because it knew I was filming for you guys. But also the products that I use, I'm just getting into Myel Organics products. They had an anniversary sale maybe like two weeks ago and I bought $100 worth of products. I got probably like 13 products. And so far my hair has been loving the products that I use used on it and I feel like the proof the proof is literally in the pudding y'all like the proof it's all there like what more do you want like I literally cannot stop touching my hair and I know to some people it's so annoying but if you do this tutorial and use the products I use and your hair comes out like this you will be just like me like you will not know what to do with yourself this style y'all Y'all can't tell me nothing. One of my friends told me I look like a Barbie doll. Like, it's really giving black Barbie with the natural hair. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited. But if you guys want to see how I got this look and all the products that I use, just keep on watching. All right, so my hair is all washed, conditioned, and blow-dried. So here are the products that I use. I use the Mio Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo and Conditioner. So here's just how those look. I also use the Strengthening Hair Mask by the same line. And I sat under my hooded dryer while I deep conditioned with this. Rinsed it out, and then I blow-dried my hair with my brush blow-dryer. This thing is a lifesaver. When I tell you, you blow-dry your hair so freaking quick no tangles no nothing so i really like this and now my hair is all blow dried and now it's time to style so the products that i will be using to style are the miel rice water collection moisturizing milk to moisturize my hair i also will be using the talia yg's crinkles and curls natural hair setting and styling lotion so this is like more of a foam to really set the flexi rods in place and then at the end i will be putting the rice water and aloe vera blend it's really leaf on my scalp because your girl got itchy scalp and then here are the flexi rods that i will be using i really like the orange ones i forget what size these are but if you go to the beauty supply store like you won't be able to miss them They're, they just look like this and i like the smaller ones so that i get more of a curl from my set instead of like the bigger ones so yeah i also have my wide tooth comb my rat tail comb and these two clips so these are all of my hair utensils and hair products so i'm gonna go off camera do the back of my hair and then come back and show y'all so the back of my head is all flexi rotted up i think i have eight flexi rods in my head i have three orange flexi rods left i'm gonna switch over to the blue ones once i run out of these these are the same exact size as the orange ones but they're just shorter so it's fine. My part is always naturally in my head because I wear middle part all the time. So even when I wash my hair, like my hair just naturally falls into this part. The part low key is like super duper straight. So I'm taking this section and just combing it out with the wide tube comb. And then I'm going to split this section into two. So pretty even. I'm going to split it into two. So I have my two sections. Pin up this top section. And then with this section, I'm taking my moisturizing milk about this much, rubbing it through my hands, and I'm just going to coat this section of the hair, avoiding my roots because we already blow dried our roots straight and we don't want our roots to revert back. So focusing definitely on the ends and then the middle of the hair, taking my rat tilt comb, I'm going to comb that through, make sure everything is nice and even and now i'm going to take this section and split it evenly into two as well pin this section up and now i'm taking one pump of my mousse rubbing it through my hands and again focusing on the middle and the ends of my hair and combing that through 
So now I'm taking the flexi rod and I think I'm going to zoom in so y'all can really see. So yeah, taking the flexi rod, I'm going to put it behind the hair. So, so as you guys can see, like here's the flexi rod, here's the hair. I'm putting the flexi rod behind the hair and then I am just wrapping it around. But y'all see how I twisted my wrist? So wrap, twist wrist, wrap, twist wrist, wrap twist wrist and just do that all the way down until you get to the end of oh, y'all all right we're gonna do that again <laughs> let's run it back <laughs> so comb the hair out and let's try this again maybe because this is a fresh flexi rod but yeah put the flexi rod behind the hair wrap twist wrist 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 wrap okay so now you are at the end of the hair so because I just gave myself a trim my hair is very blunt so I have to hold my hair on the flexi rod take another pump of the mousse and just spread it around that end of the hair to make sure it sticks to the rod and then fold the flexi rod up to keep it into place and once you flip down the bottom, now you are going to flip the top of the flexi rod just so that it doesn't unravel and it's tight. You don't want it too, too tight, but you do want it tight close to the hair so that it's not like an awkward curl. So now I'm taking that other section, combing it through, take one pump of the mousse, put it through the section, focusing on the ends in the middle, like I said comb that through and for this front one i'm gonna use a blue flexi rod put it behind the hair and again wrap twist wrist 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 wrap and then hold it more mousse to set it in place fold up and then fold down so hopefully y'all got that. I'm going to work on this side of my head, speed through it, put some music on, and I will come back to y'all. I'm like, whatever, wish you had the sex better. I put the diamond on your face, drop the feller. I put the knee to you and now we here together. You're the only girl for me. You're the only girl I need, yeah. y'all so all my flexi rods are in i have 16 flexi rods in i usually don't use this many flexi rods but i did want to make a little bit more because i want my hair to look a little more defined for tomorrow but it is bedtime i'm going to wrap my hair up eat dinner go watch tv and then take it down i'm using my satin scarf to wrap my hair and my bonnet Alright, I look a little nuts, but my hair is all wrapped up. Hopefully, none of them unravel. They usually don't, but yeah, y'all. I'm about to take it down, and then I'll see y'all tomorrow. Alright, besties, I'm back. It is the next day. I barely slept. I slept so uncomfortable last night, because if you know Flexi Rods, then you know they are the most uncomfortable things to sleep in. But it's fine. I look cute. I did my makeup. Now it's time to get this hair together. So, let's take these down. Alright, so the back is all taken out. These curls look so freaking cute. My hair looks so moisturized. I'm going to show y'all how I take them down because some people, I be seeing videos and they take them down wrong. So first you unhook both ends and then with one of your hands, just like kind of unravel it by twisting your wrist so that it keeps the curl. Because just like when we did it, we had to keep twisting our wrist to keep wrapping it around the rod. So now we have to twist our wrist the other way to unwrap it from the rod.
super easy and it keeps its same curl because you don't want the curls to be misshapen which is what I see a lot of people doing the curls don't be right I spend a lot of time on this so I need my curls to be right <laughs> So now that all of the rods are out, we have these big juicy curls, but of course we're not going to leave the house like this because this looks nuts. It's time for the fun part. We are going to fluff out the curls and just make the hair bigger. So I'm just going to take a section from the back, I don't know if y'all can see, and I just start to separate the curls. But like not too much so that they can keep their shape. curl and my hair is looking so good I'm honestly truly loving it already it's not nothing really much to me fluffing out my curls I'm just like really separating them um, apart so that they're not one big chunky curl because that look crazy that look real grandma so just taking like small itty bitty sections and just pulling the curls apart trying not to pull too much to make it frizzy but to pull enough so that the curls aren't like one big old clump so now i'm gonna fluff it out a little bit i'm just going to take this um argan oil of morocco because this is like the only like oil i have laying around i'm going to coat my hands with it and then i'm going to place my hands at my roots and really just like rub my roots try to fluff it out because there were like parts that were formed by the flexi rods and you don't really want the parts to be showing, like especially in the back and stuff. Play with the hair, fluff it in the back so that the parts aren't showing. The only part we really care about is the middle part. And honestly, truly, we really don't even care about that. And then you're just going to tease and play with the hair to your liking until you like it. And yeah. <laughs> Alright besties, so we are all done. I decided to move into the living room to really capture that natural light. My makeup is popping, my hair is popping. Like look how soft, luscious, bouncy these curls are. They're not crunchy at all. They are just soft. Like just so freaking soft. And this style definitely is gonna last me the entire week. I'm so satisfied with my results. I can literally not keep my hands out of my head hair like i'm so in love with the results let me know if you guys want to see how i preserve these curls at night and make this style last an entire week because i definitely stretch my styles out as long as i can because i am that lazy natural sometimes i don't comb my hair for like two weeks at a time and shout out to the bomb bomb products that i use don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye Thank you.